Hey my lovelies and welcome to my channel this is Prayer Case Nails or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. So guys let's get into the nail dip video. I am going to go ahead and apply um, Braveheart to the entire nail. Um, this is my full cover tip and so yeah guys how absolutely stunning is this colour. It is from their newest collection for October which is Boston Gel Party. I will leave um the link for this collection in my description box so please go ahead and check it out if you are a member with madame glam you obviously get these um for 50 percent off along with their other products and if you do not have the vip membership please feel free to use the 30 percent discount code which i will have in the description box as well i'll also have it running across the screen you'll have any of the three discount codes that i'm putting up there to use whether it's mine ravens or mama's please feel free and if you need any limbs <laughs> when i say limbs any hands practice hands or phalanges fingers if you don't know um, please go ahead and um, head over to Red Iguana and use my sister Envy's code MV10 to save you some pennies when buying your uh, hands and fingers and basically all your limbs. Right guys, let's get into the video. Once I've cured in Braveheart, I'll go ahead and um, start doing my nail art with a dotting tool. I am using um, Stronger Together. Um, cream donut and Boston is calling I am literally doing the most easiest little I don't know blobs and just dragging them down um, this is um, definitely a beginner friendly video I didn't want to do something too complex I just want to show like you don't need a lot to um, create super cute Halloween nails or anything like that and you don't even need um, you know you don't have to be brilliant at nail art to do super cute ghosts. I think they're really cute for this time of year. And you can literally have fun with this. Um, ghosts can be any shapes and sizes and however you want them. You can, they, they can have, you know, they can have hands, no hands, whatever you want to do. Um, they can be long, skinny, fat, chubby, whatever you want to do. And as you can see, I clearly just go ahead and put some blobs on with the... Um, dotting tool and sometimes drag it down with it but I'm gonna go over with my Madame Glam liner brush just to um, give it a little bit more shape or to round it up whichever just to make it look a bit nice but you know what this is all optional guys honestly I just really want to go ahead and create a really easy and simple set for any beginners to um, to try out and I just thought how could you go wrong with ghosts and you know what I really wanted to do different little chocolate nude ghosts and I just thought this collection was absolutely perfect by Madame Glam for what I wanted to do um to create all these little magics um but yeah I am literally doing the most tiniest little ghost and I think I just do one of them um but yeah I don't know don't ask me why but as you can see I'm just literally randomly going over this is stronger together this gorgeous deep dark shade of brown nude oh my god I freaking love them I'm not like I am so happy with the choice of colors that I selected from this collection there are eight colors to choose from I mean if you can buy the entire collection you need all the nudes it is stunning once you're done curing the lamp for 30 seconds I am going to take out the perfect black just to um, do the facial features for the ghost and honestly guys it is so easy I'm just going to go ahead and use my dotting tool and put little eyes like blob them on and then you know do the same for the mouth and drag it down if you want their mouth to be a bit longer if not you can do literally three dots one two for the eyes and one for the mouth hole whichever one you want to do here I've zoomed up just to show my teeny tiny little ghost don't ask me why I did it I just I don't know I just want to see if it could be done and it can be done and I am going to go ahead and add in um water tower from another collection um this is going to be the eyes and the mouse for my darker ghost stronger together um because yeah I just think it's beautiful super cute and also because i'll be using a cream donut for something else which will be the background for my little ghosties um oh my god aren't they so cute i, I really like the ghosties right now um 
but yeah getting back to this once I finish doing the dots and the mouths and doing all of that good stuff for the ghost I do go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds I think so or you don't have to if you um quite confident with your work but yeah here I'm going around adding some dots with my dotting tool um and also some smaller ones I will be turning some of them into stars so I'm going to go ahead and let you watch and pop back in in a minute So here my lovies, I was just pre prepping my Madame Glam long liner brush and I'm just going to go from the middle um, and pull out from the dot to create the four pointed stars. Um, when I first was doing these stars, oh my god, I really did not do them nicely. I'm not going to lie, when I first was doing them, when I was doing my nail art, I was not really happy with when I was doing my four pointed stars. But... Um, Practicing them more and more, I can tell I've improved a lot more because they used to look so dodgy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think they turned out super cute for this set. Um, you can obviously do whatever you want. I just wanted to do little twinkling stars and little dots in the background. Literally, this is this is my super super beginner friendly um, nail art video. Uh, nailed it video rather because I just want to show you that you can have super cute nails or a super cute nail art just doing like just small small things and nothing too complex or too complicated so you can achieve super cute nails for Halloween regardless of your you know how good you are at nail art you know sometimes some people aren't that good and and it's fine it's not you know there's nothing wrong with that and then there's some people that don't might not want to do that much nail art but either way I hope you find this beginner friendly nail art to your liking and easy to follow and yeah I just want to give you a little something that you could do even if you don't do a lot of nail art. So I am going to go ahead guys and I'm going to apply base coat gel. This is optional. Um, I'm doing it because um, I'm just trying to get all of these nail art um, one level because you know sometimes if you add gel polishes and do nail art it can be a bit bumpy and lumpy so this is an option for you guys who don't like that and prefer everything to be like level and the same so definitely can go ahead and in go ahead and apply um, the base coat gel and then cure for 30 seconds in the LED lamp once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and apply Madame Glam's velvet matte top coat oh my god guys if you haven't tried their velvet matte top coat you really need to um, as soon as I got this, I literally fell in love. I can't, yeah, I just, I love Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat. It looks gorgeous and it feels stunning. Um, for some reason, my loves, I forgot to say that when, I just think the camera stopped or didn't record, but I did go ahead and put some silver foil leaf, like, randomly on there that you can see that's matted up. So that's optional as well. So yeah, we're at the end of the video, my loves. I would love to hear your thoughts on this Nailed It video. What do you think? What do you think of Madame Glam's new colours for Boston Gel Party? Please leave your comments in the, in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And hopefully I'll catch you all in my next video, my lovelies. Take care. Bye.